Good morning and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here with Fred and Grady and we're going to demonstrate all the obedience commands Grady's learned here at school. We're going to start out by introducing the training equipment. Fred's got a standard six foot web training leash. He keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, which leaves his left hand free to make a correction on the training collar and that's the second piece of equipment. The training collar, we'll show you how to properly put that on. Now Fred's going to start off with healing. The command is Grady heal. And if you notice, Grady stays right on Fred's left hand side. There's no lagging behind or forging ahead. And whenever Fred stops moving his feet, Grady's been, Grady's been trained to sit automatically and wait for that next command. Now we're going to start off with Grady. We'll go to Eli, and then we'll show you both of them working together. Now these automatic sits are nice, so when, you, when you're stopping to cross the street or talk to a friend or a neighbor, the next command we're going to show you is a stationary stay command. Stay. It's a hand and a voice command. Fred uses the flat of his left hand and the one word firm command to stay. Now your sit stays last anywhere from one to three minutes. Start off at one minute and work your way up to three. As Fred returns back to Grady to get back to heel position, he walks around his left hand side to get back to his right. Now Grady and Eli have both been trained to adjust to your pace. There's another nice automatic sit. And another nice automatic stay. sit. Again, Fred gave one word firm command to stay. That was very nice. And that was our recall command, or our come command. He's been trained to come back to you and sit automatically, not come back and jump on top of you or jump up on you. Another nice automatic sit. Again, Fred gives him the stay command. No. Great deal. That's okay. Whenever they break a command, let's go right back to it. So Fred will go right back to that sit stay. Stay. And you heard the first word out of Fred's mouth was no. And no is kind of our universal word for we don't like what you're doing. So anytime Grady or Eli does something like jump up, trying to jump up on the counter, pull, lag behind, the first words out of your mouth are going to be no. Another nice automatic sit. And another nice automatic sit. Now the next command we're going to demonstrate for you is going to be the down command. Again, it's a hand and a voice command. Fred uses the flat of his left hand and the one word firm command to down. Now the only time you want to use their name in training is when you're calling them or you're healing with them. Your down stays last anywhere from three to five minutes. Start off at three minutes and work your way up to five minutes. As Fred returns back to him, Grady stays in that down position and he heals him out of that. Now all of these training that you're going to see today when you pick them up should be done inside your home as well. It's going to be important that they respond to these commands inside and outside. Nice. Fred puts them into another down. Again, it's the one word command to down. Then he gives them that stay command. And it's going to be important to work these guys separately too. You can work them separate and together. Start off separately and as you get more comfortable you can start working them together. There's our come from, from down position. Comes back to Fred, sits nicely. Fred gets him back to his left hand side and we'll heal him out of that. Another nice automatic sit. This is going to be our last command for you with, with Grady. Fred puts him into a sit stay. And from here he'll use his right hand and the one word firm command to down. And Fred didn't even have to give him a correction on the training collar. He just said no, reiterated the word down, and Grady went down. So we've shown you the heel, sit, down, stay, and the come command. We're going to take a brief pause. We're going to grab Eli. We'll be right back.